Hey, it's Blake here with a little check-in about something weird I've noticed uh, happening on eBay to do with the post office. Maybe you've seen this happen a lot more in your eBay store. Maybe I'm the only one. Maybe it's been happening for years, and this is just me experiencing it now for the first time. But it's this increase in price adjustments. Now, what a price adjustment is, is you either overpaid or you underpaid, and then eBay goes in and on behalf of the post office either credits you or charges you. Now, I've had UPS adjustments, so not USPS, but UPS adjustments for years. They seem to be a lot more on top of how much something actually weighs, although typically it's more um, a length or like width adjust adjustment as opposed to a weight adjustment. Um, oftentimes, I'm, I'm like a half inch off on my UPS dimensions, and I get charged more for that, and it's like two or three bucks. It happens so infrequently that I don't have any like, you know, they don't come over and and hold me at gunpoint and say, hey, you got to measure better, but, you know, it's just a little annoyance. But I wanted to pull up my eBay and show you where I'm seeing all of these uh, price adjustments, and they come through eBay messages, so it isn't like a link you can click on. If it's happening to you, you're going to be notified via messages, but I want to show you and talk what I think is kind of kind of weird about it, because it doesn't really add up. All right, so here's the screen that you get to after you click on the link, you get a message from eBay, and it's a shipping label cost adjustments, and I've had one, two, three, four, five, six since October 18th, 2022. So none the years prior to that, uh, and then six over the past three or four months, however, whatever time of the year it is right now. Uh, and some of these, okay, uh, this one is weird because it was shipped media mail, and there shouldn't be a cost adjustment um, for media mail shipping from 12 to 15 ounces, but uh, whatever. Uh, I disputed that. I did not get a response in the dispute. The second one, Anna and the King of Siam, uh, underpaid adjustment, $9.84. Again, they said that I shipped it uh, priority mail in a medium flat rate box, which I don't even keep those in the warehouse. That's crazy. When I really shipped it medium mail. So both of these, this one got accepted. Um, I don't know if they gave me back my $9.84. They don't really tell you here, I guess. Uh, I had to go through this whole process where I used um, a revenue assurance claim on USPS.com, so it's or .gov, I mean, um, just kind of weird, kind of weird. This one, okay, I believe that I weighed it wrong. Maybe I was three ounces off. This one, again, three ounces off. Um, maybe I need a new scale. I used this for lightweight scale, and I've I've used this for. I mean, at this point, probably like 10 years. So maybe it is giving occasional wrong measurements. You know, I probably sold four, three or 4,000 things since, um, since October 18th. So I would believe that, you know, out of that many sales, it does, uh, there are occasional errors, either human error or machine error. Um, it's a that's a titanium interchange quilted jacket, so it's a lightweight jacket. It's a women's large, uh, whatever. Maybe it's three ounces over. Uh, this one, Uncharted trilogy, was it four ounces under? Maybe you know again like the kind of things where I can't really dispute it because like yeah maybe it was. I don't think it was. Um, I'm not like trying to game the system or something. And then finally, this one is very odd. Uh, because they actually credited me money back. So I sold a Nintendo Wii base, and apparently I said it was a pound, which I didn't. I said it was eight ounces. I ship all of those. They've got the same like um, standard shipping label. It's eight ounces for all of them. They said it weighed 11 ounces, which, again, it doesn't weigh 11 ounces. It weighs eight ounces. I've, I've measured, I think, 12 of them at this point. Uh, and they gave me back a buck twenty-six. So I don't know what's going on. I would assume that they're trying to make more revenue, uh, and so they're implementing the same kind of measures that UPS and probably FedEx have been doing for years in order to re-measure and re-weigh items once they're on uh, conveyor belts or their, their supply chain, however they do it. But I don't know. Are you experiencing this same kind of stuff? Has it happened to you for a long time? Am I just the only one? Is this like, oh yeah, Blake, it's been going on forever. Uh, but I just want to share with you this this interesting thing. I guess now they even gave us a little 
Okay, call or email verify postage help at ups.gov. So that's new. When I disputed this one down here, I just had to research it myself to figure out how to do it. And they'll respond in 5 to 15 days. I don't recall getting an email response from them, but supposedly this one was accepted. Just an update. I wish I had more to say on this, but I figured you'd like to know. See you guys tomorrow probably.